Well, greetings. This is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. I'm going to show you how to take a document like this, which is rather unfriendly. It's 10,000 words of dummy text that I got from a text generator. You can see it as we just minimize it. It's a lot of text. If you had to navigate your way around this, it would be very difficult. In less than 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how to take it and turn it into a PDF document that has table of contents, return to top, it has all of the bookmarks included here that will help you to navigate, it also has the page thumbnails that you can use, all of this will be shown to you. Do you need any expensive software? No, I'm using Microsoft Word 2010 and Adobe Reader, they're the only two things that you'll need. And when your user opens this document that you sent to him, this is exactly what he will see. I'm going to show you how to do all of this in less than 10 minutes. So hang on, here we go. And I want to say very clearly that this video tutorial is not about formatting this document. I'm quite happy that it looks ugly. What I'm trying to show you is how to create navigation for a document like that, how to create an interface. Formatting this document would be something that we would deal with in a later video. But you can see it's a pretty ugly and pretty average document. Let's show you how to format this so you can create some fantastic navigation features. All right, first of all, we're going to create our title. Just click into this line at the top and go up here to your style. So it'll be on Home, Styles, choose the style you want. I'm just going to choose the default one here and just click Title. We'll scroll down a little bit and we're going to find our first heading. Here it is here. So we'll go Heading 1. Find our next one that we've put in here and we're going to go Heading 2. Just click anywhere and the line is fine. We'll make this a Heading 2 as well. A little bit further down, this will be a Heading 3. You're getting the idea? And so here we go, we're going to find this will be a Heading 1 again. So this is a main point. And we're going to repeat this till our document is completed. Okay, so there you have it. What I've done here now is just put styles in to show the title and then we have our headings. This is heading 1. When I click on it you can see up here it says heading 1. We'll just move to our next heading. Click on that. You can see it says heading 2. We're actually referencing each of these headings and that's very important to create a table of contents. Now we'll go back to the beginning of our document. Uh, right in here under the title of our document I'll just uh, push enter add a couple of line breaks and then we're going to say here insert page break. So we have a page in here just for the moment to give us a bit of space. And into here we're going to actually insert first of all a little image that we might use to help us to aid our users. So we go insert picture and we'll just find our file I'll use the image I used on the website, Friendly Files, there it is there, Insert. We'll just put that in there. Now we click underneath it, we're going to insert our table of contents. So we go to Insert, I'm sorry, References, and Table of Contents, we just click down there, and we'll just select our first default one here, which is Heading 1, 2 and 3, etc. So we click OK. And now you can see it's automatically put in a table of contents for us. And if we were to click any of these, hold down our control key for instance, it will automatically take us to that part of the document. So that's really good. Okay, so we've got a table of contents. The next thing we're going to do is going to go to Insert, Bookmark, and then we're going to click the button that says Show Hidden Bookmarks, and all of our our references from our table of contents are going to be here, so we're going to go close. So now we're referencing all our bookmarks as well, and so if we wanted to go, we can use our bookmarks as navigation. We click that, we go go to, and our bookmark is working. All right, we're doing very well here. One final thing that I want you to do before we move on from this document is at the top of the document here on our second page, on page two, just click enter. And I want you to type return to top.
highlight that and then format it accordingly. In the Home tab, you can use some nice formatting. So on your Home tab, just click in the font area and choose something that you want. We're just going to leave it at that. With it highlighted, go Insert, Hyperlink, and then choose Place in this document and go Top of Document. OK. Now we've set this as a hyperlink to the top of our document. Copy that hyperlink, a copy, and I want you to put that at the top of every page. So at every page you would go in, push enter, and then you just simply put that piece of text in. You might have to take out a line. We'll just do that for each page. So now we've inserted that hyperlink at the top of every page and just to let you know at this stage you would only do this when you were totally happy that your document was formatted and edited to a finished product. So here's our document and of course if we go to any of these hyperlinks, hold down our control key, it'll take us back to the start of our document. Well, what are we going to do now? One more step before we move on, we're going to put in a cover page. So over here under insert, we'll go to cover page and we're going to select a cover page that we want. Okay, you can choose any you want, I'll select this one. And here we have, we'll type in the title of our document. Now I'm going to leave the rest of this blank, you would fill this in with whatever you want. So now we have a cover page that you would continue to format. And then we have our document here, we have an active table of contents that are set up with heading one, heading two, you can see it going here to heading three heading 1, 2 and 3 in here all the way through because that's what we chose for our table of contents. So at this stage we'll just save our document so that all our changes are saved. What we're going to do is just scroll through it and have a quick look. Everything looks pretty good. It's got its return to top on each of the pages and that should work just fine. Go to File, go to Save As, click where it says the type of document and choose PDF. Choose Options and click Include Bookmark. Make sure that is clicked there. You can see the screen I have here, just follow the options I have. But you must click Create Bookmarks Using. Go OK. Choose your destination, I'm just going to choose desktop for this and we'll save it to our desktop. We'll simply close this file and move to our desktop and we'll open the file that we have created. Alright, well now let's have a look at it. Do things work? We click on return to top, if we click on the it's going to, all's working fine, but that's not all. We've got some little tips and tricks to show you here. I've got this set up in a special way. Most of us have widescreen monitors, so two pages up are probably the best for a document. So let's go into Edit, and let's choose Preferences, and let's make sure that we have our page display here, and you can choose what you want, but I've got two up continuous as selected, and I would recommend that if you have a widescreen monitor. OK, two up continuous. We'll go to documents, I think it is, and I want you to make sure it's ticked here where it says restore last viewed settings when opening documents. So click that and we'll go OK. And your document will open up to a two page. Now over here on the left, we should have our pages if we want them and we should also have, yes here they are, all our bookmarks. Isn't that marvellous? All these navigation features that are going to hold out their hand when someone opens this document. Now what we're going to do here, this is probably the, mo the best one to have because it's going to take you to anywhere in the document very quickly. Look, look you're just moving around this document with real ease to any key point. You can move back to the top here, you can use the pane here, or you can use your thumbnail pages if you want. But what we're going to do now is we're going to save, we're going to close our file off and we're going to open it again. Now you notice now when it opens, it opens to exactly where we were when we saved it last time with all of these navigation features. So doesn't that make your file user friendly? 
what a big difference from what we had at the beginning to what we've got now. Now I stress this isn't a formatted document, but it shows the navigation features, how you can make your file user friendly. I've rushed through that, you can use it and just modify it to suit your needs. But that's how I do it. This is Trevor from OnlinePCLearning.com. Thanks again for listening. Go to the website. If you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get the next video as it comes out. Thanks again.